Hi everyone, I'm Greg, Bioinformator on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Moxfield and Blue Sky. Threads, uh, uh, threads and Instagram, I'm Bioinformator underscore actual. I am continuing my box break journey through Wilds of Eldraine. So I got my first shipment and it was you know a lot of different kinds of boxes this happens to be my third set booster box so um i also had so i had three of these this is the third uh three collector boosters that are already up on youtube and uh i had a draft which I'm going to um, draft booster box, which I'm posting soon. Uh, and the pre-release, just one kit. Um, and there's two bundles. One of them has already been recorded and one I still have to break. So actually it's this and a bundle left. And then I'm done with my first wave. Um, I, I think I'm getting <laughs> two or three more of uh, the set and the collectors. I forget exactly <laughs> uh, what number got chosen at the time. Um, but anyhow, I've reached this stage in the, in the break process where um, I figure my earlier videos are slower and longer to a certain extent. So with the last uh, set, box i tried an experiment um and so like essentially i'm i'm really trying to whiz through it as much as i can um and i'm looking at the good stuff first rather than building up the drama going from the commons to the uncommons to the good stuff at the end i'm doing the the good stuff at the end first and then quickly um wasn't through the uncommons and the commons just so that you can kind of get a glance at them, but I'm not going to say anything about them. They're just going to get sorted um, as we go, um, you know, just into piles of you know, commons, uncommons, rares and mythics together. Um, and then there's going to be art cards and there's going to be land cards and there's going to be um, uh, tokens um, and list cards. So, a lot of different piles, but essentially I'm just trying to whiz through. So this is the this is the sealed box, set booster box, and it is no longer sealed. So I must open it. Sir Ginger, the Mule Ender. Okay, we got 30 packs in here. So there's three, three stacks of 10. Let's see if I learned my lessons from the last one that I did. Okay, so get right to it. And I'm out of fact. Just a little extra lighting here. Let's see how that works. Okay. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show um, show a pretty art card, um, and I'm going to put that down. I'm going to, um, flip it, and I'm going to reveal the land, which is, um, a full-length forest. I mean, a full-length fountain. Aha. Uh, then I'm going to flip back over. And I'm going to get the token, which happens to be a knight. 
a 2-2 two -two Knight with Vigilance. Okay. And then there's the foil, um, which is the Rotisserie Elemental. Just uh, now there are these tails, um, and enchanting tails it is a bonus sheet um, subset, um, and you're gonna find commons and I mean, uncommon and rare mythic ones. So they're you know they're reprints um, from from the past. Uh, so the common ones aren't aren't worth so much. Um, so you know, here's Utopia Sprawl and Stab Moon. Um, then you get to the rare from the main set. So this one is Godric. Um, then we hit the first uncommon. So just going to show like the three or four or five of those and then the rests that we're left over with should be the comments. So we're gonna try and uh, rinse and repeat with that kind of operation. Let's see if we can get away with it. Okay. So there's the art card. Um, here's the land card, which is a plain prairie. Uh, we'll flip it, and we have the fairy token. Uh, there's the foil slot, which is just a common this time around. Um, there's the slot for the for the tail, um, I believe. Yeah, so, so this is the um, Impact Tremors, so it's an uncommon one. And I've already... I'm actually just, I'm not bothering to keep them separate. So, we have our commons, our uncommons, our rares and mythics, our tokens, our lands, and the art cards. Um, so we have a Sleep Cursed Fairy um, as our set rare. And uh, now we're into the uncommons. Three, there's four of them in this time around. And then we've got four uh, commons. Okay. That's pretty art. Flip it. And there's a swamp. That's a foiled swamp. Uh, we have a monster and sorcery sorcerer um Enchantment Aura tokens. Um, our uh, foil slot is an uncommon this time, which is Vanity. Leyline of the Void. Um, so that's a rare of the um, of the Enchanting Tales. Um, then there's Questing Druid, which is the set uh, rare. And then we are two, three. So there's only three uncommons this time, and one, two, three, four, five commons. Um, and I shall do a quick um, price check. Um, uh, 
opening lines of the void. It's 3.45. Okay. Yeah. Trying to get a sense for the pricing on these things. So, so here's the art card um, with uh, a foil signature. And we have an island as our land. And we have one of those nice beast tokens. And our uh, foil slot is occupied by a common. Um, our vampiric rights is our uncommon. Tails. Um, and Restless Vinestalk is a land that can become a creature if you pay for it. Oh, but only till the end of turn. Um, and those are multiple uncommons. And there's only three uh, commons left. There's the art card. And there's a land card. Swamp. And there is no token this time. Um, there is a list card. Uh, so this one is Falmire Knight. A zombie knight. And it's an adventure. You draw a card and lose a life. And then when you get this knight back from exile um, and cast it, you, it'll be have death touch. It'll be a 1-1 one, one death touch. Um, and so... Um, just kind of put that off to the side. Or... Our foil slot uh, is Shrouded Shepherd, which is an uncommon. Uh, season of Growth as our tail. Hilda's Crown of Winter is our set rare. And we have uncommons. Some. Now we have four comments. Okay. Art. And the land, the forest. And no token again, but now we have Kenrith, the returned king. Now, I know Kenrith is... can be difficult to play against, but I don't know if it's translated uh, into... pricing. Uh, Trying to 
Okay. All of that um, just to find that it's $2. <laughs> so not a big price-wise. Um, the foil uh, is a common in Evolving Wilds. Uh, Ley Line of Abundance. So that's our rare for the tail. Um, let's see. Which one of the Ley Lines is the most expensive? So Ley Line Abundance isn't expensive. Um, yeah, I should kind of figure this out. The so I guess the ley line of the void is the is the one with the most upside. So we already got that. Uh, Specter of mortality. Enters the battlefield. You may exile. When it enters the battlefield. You may exile one or more creature cards from your graveyard. When you do, each other creature gets minus x minus x until end of turn, where x is the number of cards exiled this way. Um, we have a rare that's also a um, showcase format. Now we have reached the dance of the uncommons. And there's the commons. Yeah, I don't know if there are any surprises price-wise of things that haven't been uh, mentioned much that are still valuable. Because I, I mean, I think I've heard of a lot of the cards that are valuable, but I could easily have missed something. Um, so we have our art card. And so we have the, the foil. Full Art Mountain. So there's a whole set of those, you know, one for each color. Um, with the full art and the foiling, it looks pretty sweet. Um, okay. Oh, because I didn't flip back over. Um, here's the food token. There's uh, the foil, which is a common. Uh, okay. Uncommon Tale, oh, Curiosity. This is a decent hit. Ashiok, Wicked Manipulator. It's a mythic. Um, now, one, two, three, only three uncommons. And two, three, four, five uncommons. Five, five commons. Blech. Isn't that intricate? Um, planes, full art, not foil, not foil. Um, a knight token, um, uncommon up the beanstalk in foil, uh, karmic justice, which is not bad, but I don't think it's that much. Um, the apprentice's folly is the set rare and. Then one, two, four, five uncommons, so three commons. Okay, almost done with the first stack.
The art card. The planes. And a food token. Um, okay, the foil is common. A grasp of fate is our tail. A charming scoundrel is the rare. Uh, but we're also getting an ogre chitterlord um, as a second rare. Uh, and then we have one, two, three, four, four uncommons and three commons. Okay. Uh, there's the heart card. Uh, swap this time. Food. Um, an uncommon foil. A graceful takedown. Um, hatching plans is the uncommon tale. Uh, pollen shield hair. Pollen shield hair. <laughs> Um, and, uh, you know, this is kind of fun. You can, uh, get a really large, um, so, you know, target creature you control gains vigilance and gets plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the number of creatures you control. So you, you have a crowd, um, and you pick someone and make them big, um, and do stuff with it. And um, when you get this cast as a creature, um, you can buff the, any tokens you have as part of that big army. Okay. One, two, three, four uncommons. And one, two, three, four commons. Hey, on to the second stack. Okay. Uh, art card. And forest. And a list card. Gisa and Garolf. Now is it um, when they enter the battlefield, put the top four cards of your library into the graveyard. Uh, during each of your turns, you may cast a zombie creature card from your graveyard. Um, I mean, is this something that's been reprinted or something, or is it... I mean, it's a mythic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's cheap. <laughs> 50 cents, maybe. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, the, the foils are common. Intruder alarm. So creatures don't untap during their controllers untap steps, and when a creature enters the battlefield, untap all creatures. So, um, yeah, I hear that can get kind of crazy. Um, but does it have? Immediate value. Is 
So the intruder alarm is 434. A season of growth. The Huntsman's Redemption is the set rare. And we're right into the uncommons. Two, three. Only three this time. And one, two, three, four. Commons. <laughs> Honk the Goose Mother. Mountain. Uh, on an adventure token. Uh, common foil a phyrexian on life is the rare but i don't think it's it is very expensive um raid bombardment is uncommon and garrick's uprising is uncommon so we got we got three of those uh rowan sign of war um, so menace, uh, spells you cast this turn, um, that are black and red cost X less to cost where X is the amount of life you lost this turn. Activate only as a sorcery. Um, I don't think will is that expensive, uh, is, is I, I think this is the first Rowan I've pulled um so Rowan's sign of war is in the basic version yeah like probably around five it's like anywhere from force yeah Close enough. Um, okay, so given that, we've got two, three uncommons and three commons left over. So that was a rare pack where we got like three, um, three enchanting tales um, in the same pack. There is the art card, Ashiok. And Swamp. Uh, Nightmare. Uh, the foil is an uncommon ice rock sentry. Necropotence. And uh, that looks pretty cool. That's an awesome looking skull. And what is that going for? Thirteen thirty-seven. And let me just verify. I think that it, that is the normal version. Yeah. Okay. Because I find the um. Well, I mean that's just cool art, and that's just the basic version. Um, so you know some of the anime ones are cool, but that's still pretty sweet. Um. Archon of the Wild Rose. And then we're into uncommons. So Bumble Sheep Food Coma. Um, 
Okay, four. One, two, three, four. Shock. And a mountain. Monster and sorcerer. Enchantment. The roll, enchantment aura roll tokens. Uh, okay. Common foil, merfolk, uh, spreading seas is the uncommon tale, uh, decadent dragon is the set rare, uh, and then immediately into uncommons. Three, four. Two, three, four. So four of each. Uncommons and commons. Pretty sweet art card. So that's Yenna. Um, okay, the island is a foil. The token is a nightmare. Uh, the foil is an uncommon, and it's welcome to Sweet Tooth. Might save that for my Sam and Frodo custom food and fellowship deck uh, ground seal common red cap gutter dweller is the set rare but we also have a scalding viper with uh, the showcase frame treatment it's a rare and we have court of embrith so I don't think I hit this one so far so when the court of ember enters the battlefield you become the monarch yeah they're all you become the monarch um at the beginning of your upkeep uh, create a 3-1 red knight creature token then if you're the monarch court of ember deals x damage to each opponent where x is the number of creatures you control um and then we're into some uncommons and the remaining three comments. Uh, just for kicks. Uh, it's typing on my lap. Doesn't work very well. Am I on the right? Ah, uh ha, -huh, because it's in the commander, the commander um, portion. Yeah, the interface that I'm looking for, uh, that I'm that I'm using to do the lookups, um, kind of segregates things by set. So, uh, the Court of Embereth is three twenty four. Okay, so, I mean, it sounds useful. And there's Hilda's Icy Crown. A 
full art swamp. Strictly better minigame token, uh, common foil into the fake court. Uh, compulsion, uh, it's an uncommon. Gumdrop Poisoner, is a set rare. And we're into uncommons. Okay. Four. So four uncommons and four comments. And there's the art card. And a full art forest. And a list card. Orcish Artillery. Um, Orcish Artillery deals two damage to target creature or player and three damage to you. It's a one three. Uh, uncommon foil, charging hooligan. Ooh. And bitter blossom. Um, borderless. Uh, this isn't the anime version. So I, I have the anime versions. Um, so how much is just the regular? Or that may that may not be borderless. That may just be um, the standard. Um, they're already tricked out to look special, um, but they don't call them anything uh, different. So I think this is yes. So it's it's about thirteen to fifteen dollars. So, Bitter Blossom is good regardless, but I did get the um, Borderless Foil, which is on the order of 70 or more. Um, Tale for the Ages is the set rare, and then we're into uh, the Uncommons. Oh, oh, still another one. And then the commons. And the art card. Oh, it's got a um, itty bitty little gold foil signature there. Uh, beanstalk worm. A swamp. And another list card. Ravnica at War. Um, exile all multi multicolored permanents. Um, Archon's Glory is a common foil. Um, Intangible Virtue is an uncommon tale. Um, and the Goose Mother. Honk! The crowds adore her. Um, Tegwil's Duke of Splendor. Um, and this one is a commander card. It's mythic. Um, I think it's worth a little bit. Uh, you know, above. Duke of Splendor, yeah, so it's like five, five-ish um, for the regular version. 
the extended art foil version is like 40. So we have the uncommons, three, only three, and then one, two, three, four comments. <laughs> Our card, so that's like a giant, I think. Uh, Baluna Grand Squall. Mountain. Rat. Uh, Spell Scorn Coven is a, is a foil. It's an uncommon. Copy Enchantment is a rare tale. Um, it's just not a pricey tale. Uh, Rotisserie Elemental is the set rare. And then we're into the uncommons. And three commons are left over. Okay, second stack. It's coming to a close. Our art card. A foil forest. Uh, food. Um, the foil is a tail, Griffin Airy, com um, uncommon. And we get a uncommon for the regular tail. Um, and we're getting another uncommon tail. Virtue of Courage. I think this may be a little bit of a premium. Um, so this is from the main set. And essentially, um, you know, the adventure deals two damage to any target. Um, but then when you get the enchantment back from exile, um, whenever a source you control deals non-combat damage to an opponent, you may exile that many cards from the top of your library. You may play those cards this turn. So you kind of set yourself up for an explosive turn. Uh, Virtue of control fund. Virtue. So this is just the standard version. Okay, so standard version. Uh, it's like four something. So not big, but it's an it's an interesting card. Wow. That's cool art. That's Neva stalked by nightmares. By Tyler Jacobson. Um, the land is a plains, the token is a food, and the foil is an uncommon, belligerent of the ball, uh, hatching plans is an uncommon tale, werefox bodyguard is set rare, um, Stone Splitter, Bolt. Okay, so now we're into Uncommons. Hmm. 
with three comments left, left over. card for the beast token. It's pretty sweet. Island. On an adventure. Uh, the foil is a common. Common adventure. Rest in peace. It's just the, it's, yeah, so. Wrong. Rest in peace. Have I hit this one before or not? Um, when rest in peace enters the battlefield, exile all graveyards if a card or token would be put into. Ah, yes. The. I want your strategy to be hosed, you graveyard player. Um, yeah, so it's like I, I have the or, or an older uh, version of that, you know, prior printing at least. I don't know how many times it's been printed. Um, yeah, rest in peace is just just ninety nine cents. Um, Cause like, I wouldn't play it. Oh, and I think I think I got distracted somehow. I ended up with two packs open here at the same time, so we didn't finish one off. So uh, the one before um, had uncommons. And commons here in the pack that we're on now. Heart Flame Duelist is our um, set rare, and then we also are getting into the uh, commons. Fewer though, two, three, four, five commons. Ooh, is this the primal vigor art? Yep. Primal vigor. Uh, foil. Island. Elemental. Token. Uh, tough cookie. Uncommon rare. I mean, uh, uncommon foil. Um, Uncommon Tail, Grasp of Feet. Uh, Imodane the Pyro Hammer is the... Never did look that up. Im... Imodane the Pyro Hammer is not expensive at all. Okay. Um, and we're into the uncommons. With three commons left. card. Yep, so that's Imidane. Um, forest. 
We have a list card. Natalie, the Primal Storm. Yeah, there are a few list cards to look up. Um, the foil is a common. The tail is also, well, it's an uncommon. Uh, Restless Cottage is our land that happens to be rare. Uh, and then we're into uncommons. And three commons. I mean, have we really hit a home run in this one yet? I don't know that we have. Um, there we go. Our card. Full art foil planes. Booster Blitz as a game token. Uh, Two-headed hunter in foil as an uncommon. Uh, Vampiric Rites as an uncommon. Uh, Bramble Familiar as the set rare. And then into the uncommons, just a couple just a few of those, and then one, two, three, four, five, five commons. Okay, we're running out of packs for a home run here. Um, our card. Yes, that's Will. Full Art Mountain, uh, Monster and uh, Sorcerer, uh, Utopia Sprawl as a foil, but it's an uncommon, uh, Oversold Cemetery, uh, Will Scion of Peace, and also uh, Gum Drop Poisoner, the showcase version. And then two, three, only three uncommons, one, four commons. Hmm. Art. Which is Mark? Okay. And just planes. Uh, treasure. Uh, restless vine stock. So this is, uh, this is the rare land. Yeah, let me look that one up. Yeah, it's like 361 in borderless foil, so. Impact Tremors, Uncommon. Uh, Devouring Sugar Maw, that's our set rare. And we're straight off to the Uncommons. And three Commons. There's that art card again. And 
and a full art island. All that glitters. If that was just reprinted. So that's the list card. Um, ooh, okay. Uh, Kindred Discovery in foil. So, I mean, I think that's decent. Yeah, it's like $15. Dark tutelage. It's uncommon. Uh, expel the interlopers. And then we're into a couple, few of uncommons. One, two, three, four, five commons. Okay, I think we're down to the last two packs here. The art card. A regular island. And on an adventure token, um, a common flick a coin foil. Hmm. Aggravated Assault, uh, Borderless, and Ley Line of Sanctity, <laughs> and Ley Line of Lightning, um, all in the same pack, and Restless of uh, Bivouac. And then we're into some uncommons. One, two, three. And then three commons. So I think we already decided that the, the ley lines may be neat, but aren't super value beyond the void. Uh, Aggravated Assault, though. Assault. Oh. Is it the anime version? That is the anime version. Okay. Not always clear to me. Yes, so this is the anime version of Aggravated Assault. Um, and it is the wordless version there. Um, so that's anywhere from 17 to 25. So that's a solid hit. Okay, this is our final chance here. Well, for this box. That's pretty. That's Tegwell. Um, a full art planes. Not a rat. Imidane's Recruiter is an uncommon foil. And Griffin Airy is an uncommon tail. Uh, the End. That's like pretty cool art. Um, and we're into the comments. So we're not... Uh, 
not going to get anything else major out of that. Okay. So I think one thing I want to do is a quick check on uh, some of these list cards. I mean, we, we looked at the first couple and they weren't, they weren't big. Um, but out of curiosity, All that glitters is a dollar twenty-two. Yeah, so not a big deal. Um, yeah, a tally is like fifty-one cents. Um, Uh, Ravnica, war, Ravnica at war is 42 cents. Um, so it's not looking. Uh, Orcish artillery is 25 cents. <laughs> we already looked up Giza Kenrith. Um, I didn't look up Fel my Knight, I don't think. But because I didn't expect it to be much of anything. Twenty-five cents. So the the list isn't rescuing us from anything. Um, so I'm gonna take my comments. I'm gonna put my. Tokens, uncommons, lands, and these art cards. Okay, so let's take a review of what we have here. So we knew that that one is bigger. That one is good. Um, Yeah, the goose mother is cool, but bitter blossom. Let me say this one. Yeah, it's worth a little at least. Um, oh, necropotence. Okay, so that's a reminder. Um, Rowan wasn't too big, right? Oh, and I forget if Intruder Lorem ended up having value or not. Uh, Karmic uh, Ashiok is a bit. Uh, Hilda. Leyland of the Void. So yeah, I'm iffy on this one. Uh, it's the combination. Yes, yeah, so, I mean the necropotence, the aggravated assault, the kindred discovery, and the bitter blossom are probably carrying the the box and I think you know Astriok is around the 10 or 12 level 
Um, I forget exactly how big these were. Um, so it's a uh, regular standard edition um, Enchanting Tales Bitter, Blo Bitter Blossom, uh, the foil version of the Kinder Discovery, um, the anime version of Aggravated Assault, and the standard version of Nectar Potence. And I think that they might be they might come close. Now these are all yeah, so let's just double check. I mean, I know I already looked them up once, but I forgot already. So we got... Okay. Get off the list. So the Aggravated Assault. Um, the Anime Borderless. Let's say 17 let's say 20 is kind of a compromise. Um, 20 on that. Uh, control find. Necro. Uh, the Necropotence is, say 12. Kindred Discovery in Foil, we'll say 15. Uh, Bitter Blossom. Uh, we'll say 14. Yeah, so that's $61 in value there. Um, 70, 80. Yeah, so um, I think this one comes out under, under value. Um, we lacked a good uh, list hit with value to take us over the top. Um, and yeah, I don't think the, the big cards aren't enough to take us over. There, there may be some mid-level cards that you could nickel and dime us closer. Um, it's not the worst I've been blown out, um, but it's a little, I mean, all the value, <laughs> is coming from these enchanting tales. So they're like the thing that's uh, um, keeping this box afloat. Um, but they're nice, they're nice cards. Um, I have to, yeah. That Kindred Discovery though, is it's, that's pretty sweet. I mean, it's, it's a nice art. And seeing it in foil like that is, is great. Uh, yeah, so, the, so for, for the third box, uh, this isn't exciting as some of the, some of the other ones with, uh, yeah, it's all, it's all running together. So they'll have to do, um, 70, 80. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we, I don't think we get there. Um, because this is the set boxes are slightly or you know a little bit more expensive than um the whatchamacallits the the draft boxes um so it takes a little bit more to get them over the top uh let me double check one more thing uh in true. 
Yeah, intruder alarms only like four, maybe. Um, yeah, so I do not think we get there. Um, it's not a total bust because there, there, there are, you know, there are those good enchanting tales cards in there. Um, so not all was lost, uh, but there are other boxes were better, I think. Um, but this is all like on the fly subjective. I'm trying to check some prices along the way. I could have lost over some, um, you know, higher, not high priced, but things that are like in the $8 range or something like that, that I might've missed out on not knowing that they were good. They were good. Um, yeah, but anyhow, this is over. <laughs> um, I have, um, I have the, I have one bundle left to crack and then I have to wait for the next stuff to come. So I'll get a little break. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how the bundle goes. See, see, that'll be the grand finale, uh, intermission until the next stuff comes. Uh, so thanks for, thanks for watching. And, um, I hope I can get back to you with, uh, uh, more exciting box. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Bye.